A local contractor is now at the center of a major lawsuit. People using their life savings, trusting him to build their dream home. Instead, he is accused of running off with their money. Now at three, Winnie Dorch breaking down this lawsuit. This is a pretty major case for uh, an Ohio consumer transaction. It's a case that involves several unhappy customers. Ohio Attorney General David Yost filing a civil suit in Lorain County on February 28th against Jeff Crawford. He's the owner of Cleveland Custom Homes. 19 News Investigates first told you about Crawford on Wednesday. The general contractor is accused of taking people's money and not completing the work he agreed to do. More than a, a million dollars uh, in dispute here, and uh, we're going to court to try to make it right. Here's the lawsuit. It alleges Crawford violated the Consumer Sales Practices Act. It states he accepted his customers' money and did not come through in a timely manner. The suit also claims he did shoddy and substandard work, abandoned the job after starting a project, and failed to pay contractors, resulting in liens being placed on the property. It's disheartening, in all honesty. This is where Don Seeley comes in. A subcontractor who worked closely with Crawford, he runs the company Seeley Brothers Plumbing. Everything kind of just stopped at once. You know, everybody, either the trades were tired of not being paid and just quit showing up to these jobs, leaving these homeowners trying to figure out how they're going to finish their house, how they're going to get things done, leaving most of the trades trying to figure out how they're going to recoup their costs. Seeley says he got paid for half of the jobs he was contracted to do. The total invoice to Jeff that had not been paid was in the ballpark of $65,000. I know that I'm not the only victim. I know that the other contractors, the other tradesmen have are in the same boat. The lawsuit also accuses Crawford of signing an affidavit stating contractors had been paid in order to obtain another bank withdrawal. He had signed lien waivers acting like he is our representative to receive money from the banks. The banks gave him the money based on that. Other claims are that Crawford didn't comply with the Home Construction Service Supplies Act. He failed to provide service contracts containing all of the required information, didn't deliver services outlined in the contract, performed services in an unworkmanlike manner, again, not paying subcontractors, and charging an excessive down payment. If the contract is more than $25,000, um, they're not allowed to ask you for more than 10% of that as a down payment. Uh, in this case, the defendant was asking for significantly more than that statutory limit. 19 News Investigates Hello? went to Crawford's home. We can't answer the door right now. No answer. We called, left a message. We text him, still no response. People have spent their life savings on their dream homes and they're pretty devastated. And Yo says if you believe you've been ripped off or someone has cheated you, just call the AG's office. They want to fight for you. Here in Cleveland, I'm Winnie Dorch, 19 News.